Hi there and welcome to another in our series of revision multiple choice questions. This time we're going to look at three questions that all relate to market prices, the use of supply and demand analysis. So here's a chance for you to test your understanding as we look at three past exam questions. Here we go. So here's question one. Ethiopia is Africa's biggest producer of coffee and we're told that S1 and D1 are the original supply and demand curves for Ethiopian coffee. D2 is the new demand curve and the question is what would have caused the change shown in the diagram? Have a go, I'll be back in a few seconds uh, to give you the right answer. So what do you think caused an inward shift of the demand for Ethiopian coffee? The answer is A, a fall in incomes worldwide. Now, assuming that Ethiopian coffee is a normal good, if world incomes are falling, then the demand, the global demand for coffee is also likely to, to fall, causing the inward shift of the demand curve. Let's look at the other options. A fall in the cost of producing Ethiopian coffee would cause an outward shift of supply from S1. A rise in output would be an expansion along the supply curve prompted by an outward shift of demand. And if the cost of the price of coffee produced in Kenya goes up, I think we can assume that Kenyan and Ethiopian coffee are substitutes. So therefore that would cause an outward shift of demand for Ethiopian coffee. So the correct answer here is A, an inward shift of demand. Let's have a look and let's have a go at a second question. In a free market, in disequilibrium, which combination of price and quantity will lead to a fall in price and a contraction in output to reach the equilibrium? Have a go at the question, press the pause button. I'll be back in a few seconds with the right answer and the explanation. So we're looking here for a movement in price and quantity in output to reach the equilibrium. The equilibrium, of course, is a P2, Q2. So we're looking for output to fall, presumably from Q3 to Q2, and price to fall from P1 to P2. So the correct answer is B. P1, Q3 is a disequilibrium. And at that price, at P1, there is excess supply in the market. So therefore, that's the surplus. There is a disequilibrium with excess supply. And when we have a surplus in the market, then there is a fall in the price which causes demand to expand from q1 to q2 but supply to contract from q3 to q2 back towards the equilibrium p2 q2 so the answer to this question is b p1 q3 well if you've got two out of two let's test yourself on the third question in this little set the soap industry consists of several firms firm x produces only a small percentage of total output. Here's the question. What is likely to cause the supply curve for Firm X to shift to the right, whilst the market supply curve, consisting of the other soap producers, as well as Firm X, shifts to the left? What's going to cause the supply curve for Firm X to shift to the right, while the market supply curve for soap generally shifts to the left? Press the pause button, have a go, come back to me. When you want to know what you want to know what the answer is and the correct answer for this question is a firm x has improved technology while other firms have higher input costs improved technology causes an inward shift of supply a higher input costs causes an inward sorry improved technology outward shift of supply higher input costs inward shift of supply in all three of the options B and C and D, Firm X suffers supply conditions which cause them to fall in their supply, a large fine, a strike, higher interest and rent charges, whereas the other firms in the industry actually see a supply increase, tax reduction, subsidy, um, new firms entering the sector. So the correct answer to this question is therefore A. There we go, three questions testing your understanding of supply and demand analysis.